Hello everyone and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. If you are brand new, welcome and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is diving into the Things 3.3 update. One of the biggest releases since its launch earlier in 2017, Things 3 is introducing a brand new feature allowing you to mail into Things. Now this is quite impressive because there was only like one or two different ways to capture tasks as you go about your day and for a to do this application that is a vital experience. So what we're going to do is dive over to the laptop and show you all of the new brilliant things about Things 3.3. Now guys I really hope you enjoy this feature, I'm going to include all of the videos that I have on things available in the description and in the cards above so you guys can go away and sort of brief yourself about uh, sort of the experience that you get if you are brand new to that. If you haven't subscribed yet it'd be great to have you hit that bell notification for brand new videos but let's just dive right into the update. So here we are with the new Things 3.3 update. I have just updated on the Mac App Store. Uh, I did get early access to this one but I didn't take full advantage of it mainly because I had two other videos to put out and I was too busy focusing on them. So many apologies for the late feature. Um, the information hopefully will be useful. So as you can see, this is things three up in the top left hand corner. This is where you can start accessing the mail option. So as you can see, you've got preferences. Once you hit preferences, you'll go into the regular settings on things 3.3. And you'll see general, obviously that's all the information. And then a tab called Things Cloud. Now this is where you access everything. The Things Cloud essentially works in the same way that iCloud does. It helps you to sync across all of the devices that you have Things 3 on. And down here you can see a new section that says Mail to Things 3. Um, and all you have to do here is hit the manage option. Now it's really simple, once you enable this you can begin sending to do's to yourself, forwarding emails in um, and sharing your address with other colleagues so that they can contribute. You can also use IFTT services or other automation services, something we'll do and explain near the end of the video. Now as you, as you can see they've noted that files attachments uh, that are not supported uh, inside of this version. As you can imagine, files would be a bit strange to be inside your to-do list, but they're probably something for the future. Uh, you've got long emails that are limited, uh, so you've only got 2,000 character limit, which all seems reasonable inside of the settings. So we're going to enable this. Uh, and as you can see, your own add to things email comes up. It's a pretty long one, uh, but it is a way for you to email in. So once I copy that address, uh, or just to select it using copy and paste, I can send a demo email in. As you can see, I've got a new Compose window open and I've added that specific custom email address from Things and I've added the title Buy New Shampoo and I'm going to add some information below. So I'm going to say Tresemme, which is a shampoo brand in the UK and I'm going to send that one off. So as you can see in the inbox, something has popped up. And just before we jump into that one, I want to clarify that before Things 3.3, the reason why this is so beneficial is because you can now mail into Things 3.3. And the real benefit of that is because previously, the origin of entry only was the quick entry ability that they have, Siri, 3D Touch, and Add to Things extension. So the actual ability to do this is a bit of a leap forward for the application. Now, as you can see up top, uh, I've got the inbox, and as you can see, Buy New Shampoo comes in as a task, and all of that information below. So it actually hasn't taken my email signature naturally as a long one, it's just taken it as whatever the image is uh, and the URLs of the uh, text is. So that's just something to note that if you've got a email signature, definitely worth uh, noting it off. Now, the real benefit as well is they've got some new workflow abilities, so you can connect this up with the workflow application. Everything will be included in the description below. You can attach it to the IFTT one. So, for example, if you create to dos from starred Gmails, um, so for example, if you have an email inside your Gmail and you star it, and you want to make that into a to do, that can be easily be done in the IFTT app, and you can do a host of other ones. Uh, for example, create to dos from your Google Assistant, and there's going to be a lot more. Uh, on the makers profile. So if you want to quickly set up your own ones, 
uh, there'll be some support documents below to get access to that. So that was a quick overview of how it all works. It's really as simple as that. Uh, if you share the email address with other people, you can get them to share tasks into your inbox. And everything will go to your inbox. Um, I don't think there's any intelligent input that brings it into the today, but that's really not too much of a problem. I'd say this is a minor update, but something that actually opens things three up into a lot of different areas and probably a leap forward that they definitely needed. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this overview. I hope it was short enough. I hope sweet enough. Uh, everything will be in the description below and I hope to see you in another video. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.